everybody, and welcome to another installment of Migo Museum's Vintage Migo. It's been kind of a crazy week, and it was lovely to get this parcel from England. This is something I had arranged to buy a little while ago. I thought it would be kind of fun to do an unboxing with you. This is another in the cases of unusual Migo stuff that I've been picking up. It's from a collection that I have been buying over the last few years, actually. So let's dig in, shall we, and see what's inside. So these are more of the UK knockoff superheroes in baggies. And the first subject is Superman. And I've had iterations of this packaging before. They seem to have started using an old kite package. And then they started making um, their own version of it to get rid of these overstock, you know, closeout superheroes. This Superman is actually a fist fighter and he's in incredible shape. He has never been touched um, I've never seen a yellow header card. I've seen white, but, um, pretty much the same sort of thing that I've seen before. Um, baggied superhero stuck to a header card that very much looks like it was made possibly even years later. However, the other stars of this would be the battling superheroes. <laughs> Again, more, it's just close out eight inch superhero action figures in this case it is batman and captain america uh they are on a header card that depicts you know thor and and uh, the avengers versus the justice league basically uh it looks like this stuff is swiped again from british annuals i'm at the point now where i honestly do believe that this stuff was probably put together in the uk and is likely, you know, from the Palatoy uh, Bradgate factory, I'm assuming. Uh, when they shut down, they were doing a lot of the assembly of toys there. There's lots of videos of people putting Star Wars figures on cards and putting that together. And when I was growing up, there was even a factory here that did that. So I think what happened was they got the figures loose from Hong Kong and then they would put them on cards. And whenever Palatoy shut down, there was likely a lot of, you know, overstock inventory and whoever sold it just kind of put together the most slapdash packaging they could and sometimes hobbled figures together. You know, you see a lot of the characters with blue gloves. In this case, um, Captain America is on a fist-fighting Spider-Man body. There is no star, of course, uh, which does give him red gloves. And he also has the famous Pramland of Lee price tag. I've seen this a few times now. Um, this is a place that we've talked about in earlier episodes that seemed to get a lot of this kind of closeout stuff. It was a long-running toy store in the UK. Uh, Batman is also a fist fighter, and he is complete. He is stock and trade, and again, he is really nice and mint. And I can't tell you for the life of me why they continued to change the header card, but this is a... You know, this is a factory printed header card. This is beautiful. Um, it's a little bit, you know, cut and paste and very of its time, but I'm just sort of glad to have this. I don't know if there's more battling superheroes in this collection, but these are a unique and eclectic kind of thing that since I started doing these videos, a few folks have chimed in and said they remember seeing, you know, bags of Aquaman in pound shops and that sort of thing. It's a very weird, undocumented sort of thing. And, you know, Migo's last days and I guess Palatoy's last days were very interesting indeed. And we did get a lot of weird leaked items like this. Um, I'm very grateful to have these. It's a nice little piece of history. I'm not really buying a lot these days, but these are just such interesting curiosities and talking points. And, well... They've kept my energy in collecting. I really hope you've enjoyed this week's Vintage Mego. I've got a longer episode in the works, um, another history, but I just thought I'd do this easy-to-produce short episode. I just want to remind you, too, that my magazine, Toy Ventures, number one, is available at the Mego Museum. It is a love letter to the company Azrak Hamway, competitor to Mego in the 1970s. That's all for this week. Uh, if you'd like to chat with me more about these items, you can hit me up in my Facebook group, Migomania, or at the forums at migomuseum.com. I'm always around.
Thanks for watching. If you're new to this, I hope you'll consider hitting a like and subscribe. Until next time, have fun and talk toys, not others. Cheers.